is Munich in Day 5 of the European Athletics 2022 Championships. The day and evening sessions of the Munich Olympic Stadium were filled with drama and high tension as the young Dutch sensation Fim K. Bol was in the throes of completing that historic 400m 400 hurdles double. The Dutch treat was just a part of a European Athletics Day of Delight. Between the top athletes that we've seen at the Worlds and the Olympic Games, of course, as we have a look at uh, going well on the outside is Krafsik. There's the likes of Ryshkova and Tkachuk in the yellow and blue of Ukraine. Try to contend for medals, but Bol, as predicted, she's going to have it all her own way down this home straight. Ryshkova almost in a different galaxy. It's the brilliant Bol with a delightful Dutch double, never done before at the European Athletics Championships. And she almost cannot believe it. And look at that time, 52.67, a championship record, breaking the mark of uh, Natalia Anchuk from 2010, 52.92. No surprise, emotional for Bol, someone who has such incredible inner confidence at the young age of 22. been following you guys all summer long as you've been on the Continental Tour. You've had some victories and you've had some disappointments. It's been difficult to train and with everything going on back home. Uh, this kind of really helps, makes the payoff. I'm really not, still not believed that this happened at now. I don't, I don't know how can I, how can I explain our situation because, sorry. Oh my God! <laughs> Ukraine's Beck Romanchuk, and what a magnificent goal. So emotional on so many different levels. And that's a gold, silver, bronze for Ukraine this evening. From three women, Karina Beck Romanchuk, and then Katrick Mazikova in the women's 400 hurdles. Lovely to see Marina Beck Romanchuk have the time to go over and embrace her two teammates. Midway through, I think that was probably before round five or round six, but Beck Romanchuk. Romantic. What a the steely determin determination, the ability to calm those emotions down and compose herself to come out here and do the triple jump. You are the talk of the town, European lead. Uh, just it was great jumping. Talk about it. Take us, take us through your jumps. I mean, there were some frustrating jumps in there, but you, you pulled it off a big time. Yeah, uh, today I'm very happy because it's my best results, and it's a uh, 15 meters. <laughs> I'm very happy. Yeah. And 15 meter jumps. I mean, that's it's almost a, it's a rarity nowadays. Yeah, I'm trying today to jump more because I'm ready and uh, this need for my country, for my people and uh, I'm jumping for my Ukrainian people, for my country. Norwegian 400 meter hurdles world record holder Karsten Warholm is finally back from injury. He's looking good, he has just two hurdles yes, left to go, the world record holder striding away. He is fully fit, he said he was. A good finish from Wilfred Happio as well. He was lost in the pack somewhat as he moved into the home straight. And the Frenchman just managing to separate himself for that silver medal. But well done, Carsten Vorholm. That will mean a tremendous amount to him and his coaching team. Hey, man. All right. 
The War Horse. The War Horse. Back on top, 47-1-2, man. That's great time. Generally, up until recently, that would have been an amazing time, but you've restructured every day. Yeah, but also it's, you know, it's a championship record. Yeah. It's, uh, it's tough conditions out there today, so I think it just shows that I'm on my way back. And uh, you can't run 45 every day. That's not how it works. So, you know, I'm just happy to get the win, and uh, I'm going to celebrate it. Yes, I was so happy to see you out there running strong down that straightaway with with just free. And I was thinking, man, he's back. This is so great. Yeah, yeah. And I felt the same way also, actually. You know, I was feeling in control the whole race. I felt like, you know, I had control and that I was running really quick and uh, relaxed. So I'm on my way back, buddy. Lane one, Retinol of Spain, Hughes Great Britain, Hart and Germany, Dobson Great Britain, Torto Italy, Mitchell Blake Great Britain, and Juliev of Turkey on the outside. And it is Mi Mitchell Blake who's starting the quickest. Juliev's pulled up, Mitchell Blake in the lead as they hit the bend, but it's now Dobson who's come off the bend really well, but Hughes going through the gears down the home straight. Nobody's going to stop Zarnell Hughes. It's a 1-2 for Britain, and Tortu comes through very strongly to take the bronze for Italy. Zarnell Hughes, silver in the 100 metres here in Munich, now gold in the 200 metres. Mitchell Blake, second successive silver medal over this distance for the Britain. Ramel Kuliev made it around about 50 metres, and that looks quite a serious injury. I hope the medics can get to him quickly. Zarnell Hughes, a season's best of 20.07, just five hundredths outside of his personal best. Zarnell Hughes, European gold medalist again. You, you're very happy. You've been kind of disappointed a lot over the last couple of years. Because, you know, you've had some bad breaks, but this is great. Yeah, I'm happy to be walking away with a goal again. 2018 was a goal in the, in the 100, and tonight's goal in the 200, which is, I think, it's my better event. I'm just happy to be walking away with hardware. All right. You got out fast. When you came up that curve, there was, like, no question. I mean, talk about your race. Talk about, you know, what was going through. Gun go off. Take us through that. My coach said, do the damage on the bend. Not too much where I'll tie up too much in the home straight. I used my 100 meter speed because I'm a bit faster than everyone in the field, so I used that to my full advantage. 120, 110, that's where I made my move. Sing shot out the turn and hold my composure coming home. So when you came up that bend and you were in the straight and you could look around, you didn't see anybody? Well, to be honest, I wasn't even looking around. I didn't even see anyone. Um, I was just focusing on my lane, focusing on the finishing line and held my own. And then I went after the race is when I held Mitchell Blake got silver. So um, when did you know you had it? When did you know you were the gold medalist? As soon as I crossed the line, man, and I wasn't seeing anyone next to me, so I just need to hold my own because if I get too caught up, or oh, I'm in first, you can tie up and misstep and, you know, someone can steal it from me. So I just need to hold my own composure, and I did that. Should we know how fast she is over the last 100, but Muir, what a masterclass! from the Scot. The gaps opening up incredibly in this last 50 metres. The crowd roaring your home. What a sensational performance to defend her European 1500 metre title. Laura Muir in 408 and McGeehan, she punches the air with delight. Such a great performer with fantastic personality is McGeehan and she improves on her bronze medal from Amsterdam in 2016 with Enoi getting the bronze one place lower than Berlin. And that record of Muir against Enoi remains, even though we wondered whether the pole might be the fresher of this particular trio. Laura, European champion, what did that one mean to you? Oh, it meant a lot. You know, it's quite a lot of pressure coming in as defending champion, especially on my third champs of the season. So uh, it was tough, but I'm just so pleased I could go out there today and. Yeah, the European champion again, it means so much. And when you went for that kick on the last lap, Kira was still on your shoulder. What were you thinking there? Um, yeah, I just knew I was the fastest over like 400, so I had to play to my strengths and 
uh, when I had to go, I had to go. So, um, yeah, I just made a really decisive move and just hoped that I could hold it to finish, yeah. PC Wrighton and steal the gold medal. He's had a quiet race. That was a brilliant water jump for Wrighton. That was powerful. That was wonderful. He's straining. He's stretching. He's in pain. But he got so much momentum out of the water pit. Wrighton in with one barrier to go. Abdul Wahid of Italy driving hard. It's going to be Wrighton in of Finland for the win. He's got time to celebrate. Abdul Wahid celebrates over the line and Osama Mansoglami makes it a 2-3 for Italy. But what a tactical masterpiece from Topi Raitinen of Finland. Well, it was a phenomenal last kilometre, pushed by the Italians, both the Zuglami brothers, although, of course, Ala slipping back. Yeah, I, as I said two days ago that I know that I'm one of the guys who can really fight for the medal. I was The goal was just to be in the first group when the last lap starts and I definitely did it and I know that everything is possible in the last lap and yeah, in the back straight I just pushed everything I got and, and yeah, it was a really nice feeling to be in the in front in the when the last last final straight started and yeah, look just to the green and see that I have a small gap behind me and I can take the medal. Beckner, the last athlete to throw before we look towards that final round, he's in second place behind this man, Christian Che. Best throw for him. 67 metres, 81. So, Nicholas Alekna would love to find a tiny bit more silver at the World Championship. Wow! Nicholas Alekna soars over that gold medal line of Christian Che. Oh, I love when an athlete is on form and they're moving well. It looks effortless. Nicholas Alekna looks as surprised as I was. He caught that throw fantastically well and you can see his centre of gravity, his balance, everything perfect as he released that discus. Nicholas Alekna, 69-78, breaks the championship record that Christian Che set in qualifying by quite some chunk. Nicholas Alekna puts himself... Take us through the throws. You had a lot of 60, uh, 66s, 67s, um, and then you finally got the winner. But, um, you know, what was going on there? I, I was actually expecting a 70-meter throw. Were you, were you thinking the same? I was expecting to throw 70 meters. Uh, my, I know maybe I was a little bit stressed and uh, first throws were, weren't that good, but then uh, I relaxed and my fifth throw was uh, the, the, the winning one and I'm uh, very excited. Yeah. What about the conditions? Talk about that. Was it... Uh, conditions were great and a uh, huge crowd. Uh, they all supported uh, all the athletes, and uh, I was expecting rain, but uh, it, it didn't rain today, so it was, uh, it was uh, perfect. And there was a lot of big names out there, and you came out on top. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe what happened. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. See you tomorrow.